This is the fourth video in the T2 Laser Starter series. This video will cover importing vector files from your CAD program. When exporting DXF files from your CAD program, make sure you unblock and convert any text to paths. How you do this will depend on your application. In TurboCAD, select to save as AutoCAD R14 version, then check the Unblock and Explode Text options. In Inkscape, you select the text and click Object to Path. In the File menu, we have Import DXF, Import PLT, and Convert PDF, which uses a third-party utility. We can also right-click on the Open icon from the main screen to load either DXF or PLT vector files. So let's choose a simple DXF file to start. I will also enable the information overlay using the I key. Now we can see the size and shape count. This drawing is 50 by 50 millimeters and has four shapes. The arc and polyline are separate shapes. Now let's pick a different file. This has a couple of issues due to the way it was drawn in the CAD program. It is offset from the origin by 5 millimeters in both X and Y axis and also the sequence is not optimized. As you can see, it shows eight shapes where there should be only four. In the settings menu, advanced settings, we can select relocate origin, which will shift the drawing to zero, zero. We can also use the DXF optimizer to fix some of the other issues. Now we import the file again using the new settings. As you can see, it is now shifted to the lower left and shows four shapes. We can also use colors to determine laser power. This example was generated in Inkscape using the available T2 laser palette. In TurboCAD or other programs, we can use orange for the 60% power level. Let's look at a PLT file exported from CorelDRAW. One of the nice features is that it can automatically convert fills to hatch patterns. The last option is converting PDF files. This assumes you have already downloaded and installed the utility. The first time you click on Convert PDF, it will ask you to provide the path to the command line application. Select the executable and click OK. Now when we select Convert PDF, we can choose the file and it will automatically convert and load the result. I recommend using Relocate Origin and DXF Optimizer. Vector cutting or engraving typically has more laser off moves than scanning, so we want to make sure the rapid feed rate or laser off speed is set correctly. Left clicking the speed icon sets the speed when the laser is on. Right clicking on the speed icon sets the speed when the laser is off. A good starting value is 2000. Then generate the G-code and you are ready to laser. Please check out my other videos and I hope you enjoy using T2 Laser.